Hey class, uh, it's week 12, second workout of the week. Um, it's sort of like a kind, a kind of a boxing workout, but um, it's more of a different style of interval workout. So we normally go three intervals, right? Today we're just doing two, um, but in between, so after each one, we're gonna do a core workout. So we've done that before where we've done abs, but we haven't done a core workout. So the core workout is four exercises at one minute each. So there's an additional four minutes um, added after the interval. So <clears throat> we're gonna go 40 seconds of each exercise. There's six exercises in each uh, workout. And then we'll go into the core and then we'll go to the next interval, six exercises, and then we'll repeat the core, and then we'll repeat everything again. So it's not too long of a workout, but um, it's different, and there's some boxing uh, you know, movements, and the other thing is we're gonna go up in the intensity for the last 15 seconds of each exercise. So that just simply means what I've said before, you can go faster, you can go deeper into the movement, whatever it is, um, just picking up your pace. So we're increasing intensity uh, at 25 seconds for till the 40 seconds is up. Okay, so um, I'll let you know when that happens. So we're gonna go ahead and warm up. So knee pulls. swings across and body swings up and down and hips switch legs I'm a little sore today with the hips from the last workout. And lunge and twist. Other side. Other leg. Other side. Up on the toes, back on the heels. Step back, heel down, hip down. That's a good stretch right there, right? And switch. And switch. And switch. Good. All right, so first uh, interval starts with running in place. So we'll just do a, a jog for the first 25 seconds and then I'll ask you to run so it's just a little bit faster, okay, for the last 15. All right, here we go, running in place, go. And pick it up faster for 15 seconds. And stop. Good job. Okay. Uh, boxer shuffle with alternating jabs. So the boxer shuffle, remember, we're just kind of bouncing front to back. And we're just going to alternate jabs. So it's jab, and then I'll say switch, and then we'll go left jab, left leg lead, okay? And then those last 15 seconds, I'll ask you to just pick it up. Pick up the pace, okay? Here we go. Ready? 
Right jab first, go. Left. Right. Left. Right. And pick it up. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. And stop. Good job. All right, so we have jump rope. So jump roping for the first 25 seconds is nice and slow. And then we'll go real fast for to pick up the pace, okay? Whatever you want to do as far as your footwork is concerned, just jumping or running or hopping, okay? Ready? And go. it up. And stop. All right. So we have a lower body exercise. It's squats with high, low jabs. So squat down, low jab, squat up, high jabs. Okay, and we're just alternating. That's it. We're gonna go slow for the first 25 seconds, and then we'll pick up the pace. Ready? Go. So the jabs just come out from the center of your body here, your trunk. stop. All right. Uh, we have half jacks and it's a double bounce. So remember half jack arms only come out to the side. Double bounce it is two hops in, two hops out. Okay. And then we'll quicken it up with singles for the last 15 seconds. All right. Here we go. Double bounce to start. Half jacks. Go. more cardio today, right? Okay, so the last exercise of the first interval, we're going to work on side leg lifts. So some more hip, um, hip flexor strengthening. So what we're going to do is we're going to side leg lift, nice and slow, alternating sides, okay? Flex the foot, and we're just lifting away from our body. When we go quicker, when I pick up the pace, I'm gonna stay on this leg, and I'm gonna go five in a row, and then go five in a row on this leg. That's how we'll change it up, okay? All right, ready, and go. And 
seven singles. Stay on the right. Two, three, four, five. Left. One, two, three, four, five. Three here. One, two, three. Three there. One, two, three. And stop. Good job. All right, so we're gonna go to our mats. <clears throat> we'll get water after the core workout, which is four minutes, okay? So the first core exercise, so that's the other part of it, is we don't get any rest. We're gonna go six exercises right into four minutes of core. Okay, shoulder tap high plank into pike. We've done this before. So it's tap, tap, shift. Okay? But hips come up, hips come down. Start again. If you need to modify, shoulder tap, and then you can pull back if you want. Okay? <clears throat> Ready? Now, this is one minute. So you might want to go 30 seconds of modified and then 30 seconds of the high plank, okay? So why don't we just do that, how's that sound? So we're gonna start with high plank, shoulder tap, hike, and then I'll let you know when to switch to modify. Ready, go. Or if you really just want the challenge, you can stay in high plank. It's up to you. It's a long minute. Pace yourself. That's 30 seconds. If you want to keep going in high plank, otherwise drop the knees down and pull back. And rest. Good job. Okay, we're gonna stand up. <clears throat> so this is a little lower body, but also some core, okay? So it's Atlas pose. So what we basically do is we lunge, and then we're going to reach with our arms across to the outside of this front lunge leg. We're just going to rotate our trunk and our arms across, and then we'll come back switch and reach up across, okay? Alternating sides, nice and slow, one minute. Ready, go. So it takes some balance, some strength in the legs to hold that position. to go deep into the lunge. Last one here. So we're down on the mat again. We're in kneeling table position. <clears throat> so we're gonna go 30 seconds on one side and 30 seconds on the other. This is what the exercise looks like. I'm going to lift my knee out to the side and then I'm gonna pull my knee back in and kick back with a straight leg and pull it in, okay? We'll do that for 30 seconds and then switch legs. So make sure you're nice and strong in your trunk. Leg and hip are doing the work. Not a lot of extra movement in the trunk. It's all about the core coming, the power, the strength, right? Coming from your trunk. 
All right, here we go. 30 seconds. Ready and go. You can lift out, kick back. Switch legs. Last one here. exercise of the core and then we get some water. It's a low plank hip roll into a shift. So watch me. Low plank, knees off the floor. We're just going to dip our hips to one side by just switching the feet over to each side and then we're going to shift a few times here. Okay? If you need to bring the knees down, just a slight hip roll and then a slight shift. Okay, we're gonna go for a minute. So if you wanna change from high plank, um, knees off the mat to, I'm sorry, low plank, knees off the mat, low plank, knees on the mat, at 30, I'll let you know when to do that, okay? All right, here we go, hip rolls into shifts. Ready, go. Nice and controlled. Movement, not too fast. Shift a few times. Hip roll. Hip roll. Shift. Roll. Roll. Shift. Okay, if you want to stay in this exercise, stay here with the knees up. Otherwise, you can bring the knees down. I'll show you here. Hips. Hips. Shift. Hips. Hips. And shift. Good. Get some water. Woo, that's an upper body burn as well. Okay, so the second uh, interval starts with running in place with up and overs. Do you remember the up and overs where you lift your knees up and over like you're jumping over something? So we'll run and then we'll up and over, run back and forth. Uh, we'll go moderate pace for the first 25 seconds and then we'll pick it up faster for 15. So this is the beginning of the next interval, which is six exercises. Okay, we'll give you a little break in between. Okay, running in place with up and overs. Ready and go. stop. All right, so the next exercise is bob and weave with hooks. So it looks like this. The bob and weave is from the center, right? We just go side to side. And when we come over to my or your right, you're going to hook with your left. And then when you move to your left, you'll hook with your right. Okay, remember a hook is out and across, palm facing down. 
elbow up high. All right, we'll go moderate pace and then for 15 seconds, we'll pick up the pace. Ready? Go. Pick up the pace. And stop. Nice job. All right, jump rope. Whatever you want to do for jump rope, I'm going to change it up and I'm going to do runs, okay? And then we'll go 15 seconds fast. All right, ready? Go. And faster. combination hook knee block. We'll stay on the right side for 40 seconds and then we'll go left side lead, leg lead for the 40 seconds, okay? So this is actually the, uh, actually we'll go 20 seconds. Let's do 20 seconds right leg lead, left leg lead 20 seconds, okay? All right, so we have right hook. So with our right leg lead, I'm gonna ready arms. And I'm going to go hook and then block. Okay, so my ready arm should already be here. Hook, block. And then we'll go left leg lead for another 20 seconds. So there's no pace pickup at all. We're just going to switch sides at 20. Okay, ready? Go. So you go as fast as you want. One here, switch, left leg lead. Last one, and stop. Good job. All right. Last interval, we have half jacks. We're going to do full jacks with double bounce. And then we'll go into full jack, full jack single bounce, okay? So it's double, and then we'll go into single, okay? For the last 15 seconds. Here we go. Double bounce, full jacks. Ready? Go. of the second interval is back leg lifts. So before in the first one we did side, right? We're going to do back leg lift. So we're going to alternate just raising that leg back, keeping the leg straight. And then for the last 15 seconds, we'll stay on one leg. We'll go three 
and three, should be able to do two of those, okay? All right, here we go, alternating back leg lift, ready? Go. And one, two, three, switch. One, two, three, switch. One, two, three, switch. And one, two, three, done. Good job. All right, we have core. So we're gonna change it up a little bit. We're gonna come down to our mats. So we're not doing the same exercises. I don't want to repeat the same exercises. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to do a modified inchworm plank. So no push up. It looks like this. Knees are down. Walk my hands out. Hips are down. Walk my hands back. Hips back and up. Okay. We're going to go for one minute. 30 seconds, we're just gonna walk our hands out and walk our hands back. The next 30 seconds, we're gonna do a shoulder tap at the bottom and then walk our hands back, okay? Here we go, ready and begin. Keep your core tight, strong. shoulder taps at the bottom. All right, so we're going to stand up. Okay, so the second core exercise is a side step out lunge. Um, it doesn't have to be a deep lunge. And then what's going to happen is so I'm going to right leg, slight bend here, and then I'm going to pull this knee up and across. See that? So I'm getting a little core with my obliques as well as my hip. We'll do that for 30 seconds on the right and then we'll go left. All right, ready? And go. So slight lunge, arms out, pull it across. It's nice and balanced. Again, core strength. Um, pretty much generates the power and the strength you have in your limbs, right? We're going to switch sides. Left, and then pull it across. So the stronger you are in your core, your abdominals, your back, your hips, your glutes, more powerful you can be with your limbs, right? Arms and your legs, your core is strong. And stop. Good. Because your power comes from your core. Okay, so uh, table. So table position, come on down. So last time, what did we do? We did like a kneeling side leg lift into a back kick, right? So this time we're gonna do, we're gonna call rainbows. So it's a straight leg, watch me. And I'm lifting and arcing with my leg behind my leg, like a curtsy lunge, right? And then out. So I lift up, rotate over and up and rotate back. So I keep my leg straight, I keep my 
foot flexed. So my muscles in my leg are engaged the whole time. Try to keep your abdominals nice and strong so you're not arching your back and let the leg do the work. Okay, 30 seconds with my left leg and then I'll switch to my right. Ready, go. Up and over. Again, check yourself, make sure you're nice and strong in your back and your abs. And we're gonna switch legs here. Up and over. Doesn't have to be a big arc. It's up to you, whatever works for you. Last exercise is a side elbow hip lift. So you're gonna come over to your side. You're on your elbow here. My legs are stacked and bent here. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna lift my hips up and push them forward. See this? Up and pushed forward as my arm lifts up. So it looks like this. And down. We'll go right elbow side, 30 seconds, and then we'll switch to our left. All right, here we go. Ready and go. Last one here, and switch sides. And ready, and go. We get water after this, and then we start again. halfway through. We're only going one more time because it's a long workout um, in a row, right? So 10 exercises in a row. So more of the cardio in the beginning and the core in the second, then we'll rest and then we'll do it all again, okay? Uh, running in place was the first interval. So we're just going to jog and then pick up the pace for the last 15 seconds. And then I'm gonna cue you into the next exercise, which is the boxer shuffle with alternating jabs. And then we'll go into jump rope. So we'll go three in a row. We'll rest for a moment, a little bit, and then we'll go to the next three. Okay, so we're gonna go three and three. All right, running in place, ready, go. Pick it up. We'll do boxer shuffle with alternating jabs at a moderate pace is next. Ready? Sorry, shuffle. We'll go jab, jab, jab. 
jab, jab, switch sides. All right, I was doing something totally different. Bob and weave, switch sides and switch. switch and switch and switch and we're gonna go into jump rope here nice and slow and we'll pick up the pace for the last 15 seconds And rest. Good job. All right, so we have squats with high low jabs, right? We'll go moderate pace and then we'll pick up our pace and then we'll go half jacks, double bounces, and then singles. And then we'll do our side leg lifts. All right, here we go. Squat, high, low jabs. Ready and go. the pace. We're going to go into half jacks next. Double bounce. And ready and go. side leg lifts. Ready to go. Alternating. And then we'll go four and four on each side. Two times. Let's see if we can get through that. Here we go. Four. One, two, three, Four and switch. One, two, three, four and switch. One, two, three, four and switch. Two, three, and four. Good. All right, come on down. Shoulder tap, high plank into pike. We'll go 30 seconds of those. If you want to stay in those, you can. Otherwise, we're going to go into modified. All right, ready? Go. Stay here doing these, or you can bring your knees down. Here we go. Taps, full backs. After this, we'll stand up for Atlas Pose. So it's that slight front lunge into that reach up and across move. Be our last one here. 
and stand up. Alternating. Ready? Go. After this, we'll go back down to the mat for that table side knee lift back leg kick. This is the last one. Good. Come on down. So we're going to stay on this one side for 30 seconds, and then we'll do the other side. So remember, it's knee lift, back leg kick. Ready? Go. sides. exercise of the core and then we're going to get some water. Uh, it's the low plank hip rolls into the shifts. Okay, so we'll go half the time with the knees off the mat and then half the time with the knees on the mat. If you want to keep the knees off the mat, you can for the full minute. <clears throat> Ready? And go. Hip roll. Hip roll. Shift a few times. Roll, roll, if you want to stay here, stay here, otherwise bring your knees down, slight dip, slight dip, shift back, but back. Down. Slight dip and dip and back. And get some water. job you guys we are one interval and one core workout away from doing a little bit of abs and then stretching so finish strong with me so we're gonna go six exercises in a row starting with running in place with up and overs okay we'll go moderate place for the first 25 and then we'll speed it up and then we're gonna go into the bob and weave with the hooks and then we'll go jump rope, okay? All right, I'll lead you into it. Run in place with up and overs, ready, go.
and fast. Bob and Lee was Brooks is next. Good. Bob and Lee with hooks. You know, to speed it up. And faster. After this, we'll be jump roping moderate pace. Ready? Go. Fast. And rest. Whew, good job. All right, so we have 20 seconds of the right hook with the knee block, and then we'll go 20 seconds on the left. Left hook, left knee block. We'll just keep that pace. If you want to increase pace, you can. Sometimes it's tough, I understand. Next is full jacks, double bounce, and then we'll go single, okay? Um, and then we're gonna go those back leg lifts, okay? Here we go, we're gonna start with the right hook, right knee block, ready, go. You go whatever pace you want. Last one here, switch, left hook, knee block. Next will be our full jack. Double bounce for 25 seconds and then singles for 15. Last one here. Here we go. Rolls here. And stop. Back leg lift. Here we go. Alternating. Go three on the right, three on the left, three on the right, Woo. three on the left, and stop. Good job. All right, we have core. Come on down. Four minutes left, and then we get some water. All right, so we have. Our inchworms, 30 seconds, no push-ups, just walking out, walking back. If you want to add push-ups, add your push-ups. I'm actually going to do push-ups this time. And then the next 30 seconds is shoulder tap, no push-ups, unless you want to add push-ups, okay? Modified means our knees stay down. Ready? Go. So remember, 
longer. You don't have to do push-ups. You can just do the walkouts and the walkbacks. So I'm going to do the push-up here, and then I'm just going to do the shoulder tap, walk up, walk back for the other 30. You do what you want, however you're feeling. All right, we're going to add shoulder taps. We're halfway here. Shoulder tap. If you want to add a push-up, you can. I am not. I'm just going to walk it back. After this, we're going to stand up. Last one here. Stand up. So we have that side step out with the knee come up here, our cross knee, right? Remember this one? It's like this. And then we pull across. All right, we're going to stay on the right side for 30 seconds. Ready? Go. Nice and strong in your trunk. Last one here. Switch sides. Left. Pull. Last one here. And come on down to your mat again. This is our last exercise for the intervals, you guys. On our side. Legs folded and stacked on our elbow. So we have the hip lift and the reach up. We'll go 30 seconds on the right. Ready? Go. Push the hips forward when you lift them. Last one here, and switch sides, ready, go. Last one. Good. All right, you guys, we have abs. We're going to come into a seated position. So we're going to do those C-sits. So our legs have already done a lot of work. So we're just going to work on our trunk, right? All right, so the C-sits, we're just rolling back. That's it. So remember, when we roll back, we want to make the shape of a C in our spine. So we want to round our back and pull our abdominals in and then reach forward and flatten our back, okay? For 30 seconds, ready? Go. Breathe. And stop. All right, so we're going to go our side to sides. So it looks like this. We're down in that roll back position, and then we'll move up in the flat back. So we roll back, we twist, and then we roll up and flat. 
flatten our back, okay? For 30 seconds, ready? Go. How did a fly get in my house? Weird. Breathe. Last one. All right, so the last one is we come down to the side and roll back. We come up tall, reach up, flat back in the center. Then we come down on the side and roll back. So we've done these before, okay? Ready, up, down. Ready, and go. Last one here, and good, all right. Let's stretch it out. If you need to grab some water, grab some water. <laughs> Legs parted. Stretch forward. <clears throat> to the side. to center, other side, back to center, butterfly, reach back, that head down butterfly forward legs in front stretch forward sit up tall arms so that is it for week 12. Other arm. So look for the weekly connection. Remember, I need you to either submit a response that you worked out this week, right? <clears throat> on the video or comment on the video, which shows me that you opened the video and you watched and followed along, okay? Uh, look for the weekly connection, submit your response to that. And then I will see you next week. All right. Bye.